In Nigeria, the number of cases related to COVID-19 remains low. However, there are huge concerns on its likely impact on chronic infectious diseases such as AIDS. With its attendant high burden as the country's relatively weak health system further endangers these subpopulations. With funding from the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, Breakthrough Action Nigeria, COVID-19 social and behavior change strategies are aimed at designing data-driven social and behavior change interventions to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 among people living with HIV who receive care and treatment services through PEPFAR-supported facilities and their health care providers. To achieve this, Breakthrough Action Nigeria worked closely with key government stakeholders and PEPFAR implementing partners who already know the context and environment and provide care and treatment services to people living with HIV. The intervention sought to increase vaccine uptake and address vaccine hesitancy, increase practice of public health social measures, increase uptake of COVID-19 testing, and support the continuation of care and treatment services. Breakthrough Action Nigeria approached achieving this objective by applying a systematic and intentional social and behavior change process. This began with the knowledge, attitude, and practices survey, as well as qualitative assessments to understand the factors that influence behaviors related to COVID-19. The goal was to use this information to deepen understanding of the audiences and to inform the strategic design of messages and materials. Findings from the survey revealed that people living with HIV and healthcare workers are willing to take the vaccine but have concerns around side effects, myths and misconceptions. It also showed that an understanding of the benefits of the vaccine would motivate them to get vaccinated. The assessment also indicated a lack of materials and messages that would effectively communicate how people living with HIV could take on healthier behaviors related to COVID-19 while still receiving their care and treatment services. Materials that healthcare workers could use to communicate about healthy behaviors to their clients were also not available. Breakthrough Action Nigeria address these gaps in collaboration with the Center for Communication and Social Impact, leveraging the insights through a co-creation approach to develop messages and materials for people living with HIV and healthcare workers. Stakeholders were drawn from various organizations and parastatals in a co-creation process to develop social and behavior change materials that were responsive to the factors identified in the formative assessments. NEPWAN was involved not only at the national level, but there were state uh, officers or so executives of NEPWAN, which actually makes it very, very involving that people from the state, from the grassroots, were able to bring their knowledge, their experience into bear. The message development goal creation workshop was so interesting. I really enjoyed it. It was one of the best that I've ever attended. When I came back from the workshop, I really, that thing really changed my mindset. When I came back, it was like telling people, especially my PL HIV clients, because some of them did not want to take. You need to take the COVID-19 vaccine, and most of them accepted it. The process of the develop the measures was to help our people to get the right information and how to handle it in their various community or their state level. Prototype messages and materials from the co-creation workshop were translated into local languages and pre-tested amongst people living with HIV and healthcare workers. Pre-testing is a key step in the process to ensure that the materials resonate and effectively communicate with the audience whose behavior we are trying to change. Feedback from the pretest was incorporated in finalizing the messages and materials. Materials included posters, 
wall charts and animations produced in Hausa, Ibu, Yoruba, English, and Pidgin languages. The impact of social and behavior change cannot be overemphasized. Before now, professionals focus more on those technical things in terms of drugs, in terms of uh, getting diagnoses, and not considering the value communication brings to both prevention, detection, and response. Many people living with HIV are happy to have their concerns addressed and to know that they can be safely vaccinated to protect themselves and their families without any disturbance in their HIV care and treatment.